explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about chunking uploads using Fetch. And in this video we are going to talk about uploading large files. The problem we had at work was that we had a customer that needed to upload a, a larger file. In this case it was I believe 1.7 gigabytes in size and we realized that we couldn't really upload it. We changed the settings in our web server to enable larger uploads. I think we set that to five gigabytes and so on, but it always failed for some old reason. And when we looked into it, it seemed like the web browsers, mostly Chrome, Firefox and so on, they actually terminated the session after 300 to 700 megabytes just so the um, the particular browsing session shouldn't be stale or something like that and that wasn't any good so we needed to figure out a way to upload files that was huge <laughs> and still maintain um, a going ratio and I looked into it and there is a way to uh, partition the files in smaller segments and upload those in turn and then we need to, uh, a way to stitch them back together. Let's switch over to my screen here. So if we look here we see that I have this upload thing here and I can choose a file. This will give us this uh, upload interface here. Let's take any file that is a little bit larger, a couple of megabytes and then uh, upload that and then fetch upload and then we can see that it runs this multiple here so we actually see that the upload is not just one upload it's multiple uploads and if we check what the payload is the first one is chunk upload with a particular file name which is just some random things here and then a binary file and then we have a chunk upload again here to the same file name, another chunk upload to the same file name, the last chunk ID2. And the last part here we say that we want to take this temporary file name and then um, rename it to this asset with a chunk of three. So that is what it's doing. It's doing three different uploads and then when it's done it will uh, take those chunks and turn them back together again. So let's look at my uh, HTML here with some JavaScript. So first off we had the input and a button up here. We had some styling. We also have a, this Bay64.js up here. Not important about that so I'm not gonna look at that. And then we have a div for result here. We could get some errors. Uh, we will uh, take this setup here, get the different IDs. So we get the fetch button, uh, upload button the result and the file upload in different in different uh, elements here and then we will add an event listener to the change of this file up handler and in that case if the file upload change we will do a handle upload on the event we will upload files and then we do upload chunks and for e uploaded files is going to be updated and when we are done with these chunks we will say that this is done so let's upload the, the files or in, in this case handle the chunks that we have uploaded and stitch them back together and the events target files here as we get the actual files that we want to upload upload chunk is pretty much going through the all the files that we have selected so this was a multi selector we can do multiple files and for each file we take that file we have a chunk size of one megabyte we have a start of zero and a chunk id of zero we will create a temp name here just a long string uh, with a bunch of letters this temp, temp name we will use that in order to upload to this temp name with a specific chunk id uh, until we get to the file size so this start is the amount transferred and then we will slice this file from start to chunk size and then we will add the start chunk size to start so we will get the next chunk and so on and then we will get a new chunk ID 
So while this is true, we will upload more and more chunks. And when uh, we have done that, we will push the uploaded file, the temp name, the name of the actual file that we want to have and the number of chunks that we have uploaded. So the, this is the chunk ID that we updated. So when this updated files are done, um, and we also have this await here on this async function, which means that it will actually run through all the uploads in sequence uh, until it's done, and then we'll, it will upload the files. Uh, we can look at this upload chunk as well. We have that in the bottom here. We have this form data. We set the operator to upla chunk upload. We set the file name to the temp file name that we had, the chunk ID, and the actual file that we want to upload. And then we just post that up with the fetch. And when that is done, we do also an upload files and the operation will be up file upload. We will send the array of all these uh, uploaded files as a stringified JSON, and we post that up to this upload script. So let's look at the upload script then. This is just a PHP script where we have the chunk uploader. If that is the operator, we will get the current chunk ID and we will pad it, string pad from the left, with a bunch of zeros. So we get a large uh, file with the ID with a lot, bunch of zeros in the beginning so we can have a lot of chunks and still have them in the correct order. And then we will do a file put contents to the temp directory with the particular file name that we choose and the chunk ID. And then we go do a file get contents of the temporary file that was uploaded. So we in this file array here, we have a temp name, which is the actual file. We could do a move operation here where we move the file uh, with this more, uh, inline function to move files, but in that case we can't do this file append. So that's why I do this this way. We'll get and then put it in a different location. And when we have done that chunk upload, we will do the same with the file upload. So in this case, we will take the file list of the requested files, de decode the JSON, go in to through each of these files, and then loop from zero to the number of chunks. We will get the particular chunk ID, again, string padded with 10 zeros. And they get, uh, in this case, I will dump out also the uh, current name that I will, will work with. Uh, and then if that file exists, uh, or if that file doesn't exist, we will return 400 uh, missing chunk. Otherwise, we will put the contents to the file name, again in temp. We will probably use another directory if we would use this in production. But in temp, we will put that file name and we will get the current chunk with that ID and then append that to this file. And it will go through all the chunks in all the files in order to build these files again. So in order to do that, we will get this upload. Of course, we could add more functionalities to this. We could have a progress bar that shows us how many chunks that have been uploaded. We can even use the built-in functionality of the Ajax um, uh, interface in order to look at number of uploaded bytes and get an even better upload bar and so on. So there is a lot of extra we could add to this, but I think this concept in itself is very interesting, how to upload really large files to a uh, server when you need that. Uh, I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you learned something today. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave those in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.